God knows. God knows. God sees. God knows what you're going through. God sees that you've been having anxiety. Anxiety for the past four days straight. I'm talking to someone right now. God talked to me and he told me, it's somebody out there, a lot of people out there, that's been going through it. That's been going through it. They've been saying that they're broke. They've been thinking that they're about to break. And they think that they're broken. But God said, you're not broken yet. God said, you ain't breaking. You just broke right now. But guess what? I'm about to fix you up. Guess what? I'm about to fix you up. And because you've been so humble and because you believe in me so much, I'm going to have favor on you. Because God said in James 4, 6, God gives more grace to the humble. He gives more grace to the humble. I know God going to humble me. I know, I mean, I know God going to favor me. I know God has favor on me. It's never a doubt in my mind. You know why? Because I stay faithful. I stay humble. Before God has to humble me, I humble myself. And you know how you humble yourself? You think about the bigger picture. You think about how big your breakthrough is going to be. You just stay on a positive note because you know that it's going to come. You know it's going to come. I will not dare give the enemy the joy and the victory that he wants. I won't do it. I won't do it. And God said that your breakthrough is right around the corner. I have it right here. God says that he gives more grace to the humble. He has grace and mercy on the humble. He has favor on the humble. The people who believe, the people who don't think about what their situation is, the people who knows that it's going to get fixed up by God. And if they're broken up, broken is an easy fix. That's an easy fix for God. That's too easy, matter of fact. That's super easy. So be smart. But what I want you to do, I want you to identify the pressure. What is the pressure in your life right now? What is the pressure right now that's holding you back, that's giving you depression and anxiety? What's the pressure? Take it away. Take it away right now. If it's a child, if it's a person, if it's a family member, if it's someone close to you, get rid of that pressure first so that you can begin to get clarity on what God has for you. Speak to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God right now and say, God, I know your plans for me is better than what I think and better than what it looks like. Amen. And I want you to receive your blessings like I am right now. See me? I was just broke yesterday. Right now, I'm about to receive some money right now. Why? Because I stay faithful. Because I am humbled. I am humbled by the grace of God. I am humbled. And God has more grace on me every single second. I know you hurting. I know you hurting so bad. I was hurting yesterday, but you know that joy comes in the morning. You know that you'll rejoice by the morning time. And, and as far as all the evil and wicked people who are against you, you know why they're against you. You have the goodness. You have the goodness. They have the evilness. They don't have what you have. So sometimes it's because of jealousy. Sometimes it's because of what they can't be. You have to open up your eyes. Stay humble. Stay humble so that the Lord can have grace on you. I want God to have grace on you. And he wants to have grace on you too. And sometimes people say, how do you stay so positive? Because I know the results. I know the end result. I know what breakthrough means. Why? Because I didn't have so many breakthroughs. And when I didn't believe in breakthroughs, I didn't get none. When I believed in the breakthroughs, I got them every single time, every single time. It's not one day that goes by, even in my depression and anxiety, that I don't have a breakthrough. God told me to tell you, you in a season of smash. You in a season of smash. Smash that anxiety. Smash that depression. Smash that doubt. Smash that idea in your mind that... What's going on right now is going to forever stay. Even when it looks weird. Because it will look weird. Oh God, um, this is crazy. Um, it's happening again. What happened last time? This ain't the last time. This ain't the last time. Every time is not the same time. And that's what I have to think. That's what I have to start thinking in my head. However it looks like. Of course the enemy comes the same way. He never comes a different way. It's always the same thing but twisted a little bit. You have to pay attention. Pay attention to the attacks that comes to you. And just see. See how the enemy preys on your downfall. Preys on your weakness. So if they prey on your weakness, get strong. Okay? Smash. Smash. So that crazy, crazy, crazy anxiety. Crazy, 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 crazy. That crazy anxiety that you have. It'll be gone. 
it'll be gone the minute you focus on God and the blessings that he has for you. The plan, the direction that he has for you. He's guiding you right now. He's guiding you into your destiny right now as we speak. As you're listening to this, you are on your way to your destiny because first of all, you believe. Second of all, you're going to humble yourself. Third of all, you're going to wait on that breakthrough. And once you see it, you're going to know that these same steps creates the results that God wants for you and the results that you need. Stay humble and stay faithful. God loves you. Don't forget it. I love you too.